I'm Jerry Lowen. I am the daughter of Selma Lowen, one of the four women that began the Thrift Shop Network. Well, my mother had gone to a conference and she was one of the few women at the conference and he spoke about the decision to reduce the material aid. People used to send clothing to countries around the world and they were discovering that that really wasn't a good way to support those countries. I guess uh, literally a little light bulb went off in my mom's head. A machine that would turn clothing into cash. A community thrift shop that would sell used clothing and raise money for MCC programs. And she invited three women, which were her friends. They were really of like-minded women. They liked to think practically. They liked to work for the community. Mom wanted all the Mennonite churches to be involved. And that was really important to her, that it kind of got spread across Altona. The idea that everyone should be welcomed, that was there from the very beginning. Two months later, they started their first little thrift shop. I mean, they had no money to put new shelving in or anything like that. They, they made do with what they had at their own homes to put the shelves and the racks up. It, it did spread. A month or two later, it was in Steinbach, and before you know, the other places in Winnipeg had, had thrift shops. Within 10 years, there were over 50 thrift shops established around the United States and Canada. From that tiny seed, it's grown into more than 108 thrift shops across Canada and the United States, contributing millions of dollars each year. It, it was, a, uh, as mom would say, it was a well-oiled machine. <laughs> I really admire the four women who began this, this whole system that we're working in right now. Coming up with an idea that met the needs of the time, that changed the way they were doing things, that was sustainable, and that was keeping in mind the needs of the people that they were sending the clothes to originally. That was probably the heartbeat of a lot of people and especially women who wanted to serve in a way that would support something much bigger than themselves. I don't think they ever dreamt that it would be as big as it is 